Welcome back, everyone. It's another rant day. I know I keep starting all of these videos with thank yous, but I feel like because I'm doing so many new things, it is worth thanking you guys for participating in my new ideas and giving me ideas for new videos. And honestly, that rant, as silly as it felt for me to just rant on about something for 10 minutes was super fun. And I'm really happy that I get to do them as often as I do, because it doesn't take that long for me to edit these or to put these together, especially when you guys are giving me topics of conversation. So thank you. I won't start every video with a thank you unless that becomes my thing, but I don't think that it should. On to our next rant though. It was suggested by one of my community members during the day in the life video. Today we are talking about self care, uh, which is not a great topic for me if I'm honest, because I'm not very good at it. I am a serial workaholic and unfortunately that gets me into quite a bit of trouble with myself. I experience burnout pretty easily, but I push forward anyway because I'm addicted to working. Uh, but there are a couple things that I do for self-care that allow me to continue to do those things. One, this sort of content to me, I know it's still working, get off my case, but to me, it's a form of self-care because it is content that I am thoroughly enjoying making. I have a passion for community and one of the things that I felt like I lost when I got too deep into gaming content was a sense of community. It almost felt like when I was a smaller creator, I had more community sense than I do now. Even though I've had an ebb and flow in my CCV and my metrics as a streamer, I still feel like I lost that community aspect the moment I got the partner badge, which felt really bad, to be honest. It feels really bad. But this sort of content is so much fun for me to make. So it's kind of rekindled that feeling for me. Now, work can't always be my self-care. I need to have other things that provide me with that spark, you know, that feeling like I'm comfortable in my life, I'm comfortable in my skin, and there are a few things that I do for myself that are not for content that I would like to rant about because I think it's important to provide yourself with time away from your work or time away from obligations, and that includes friends. As much as I love my friends and I love going out for food with my friends, and I love going to movies with my friends and having them over and hosting and doing all that fun stuff. I feel like the most important self-care thing, at least for me, is alone time. Now, a lot of you don't necessarily enjoy having alone time. It kind of forces you to sit in your thoughts a bit and that can be pretty damaging if you're in the wrong headspace. But for me, I find so much peace and so much calm in being alone and doing my own thing. And I think that stems from being a family of five, a very busy family of five. And then after graduating high school, immediately moving in with roommates. I have only lived alone for a maximum of four months in my entire life. And I think that that is something that has kind of created this solace in being alone in doing things alone and not having obligations with other people. Even if it's fun things for me to do, like I said, like going out to movies or concerts or food or hosting cool anime watch parties every Sunday. That stuff feels like self-care in the moment, but it burns my social battery pretty heavily. And I don't actually feel like I relaxed. I didn't, I don't actually feel like I did anything for myself. I feel like I still did things for other people. And though I love my friends and I love hanging out with them, when I think of self-care, I think of things that you only do for yourself. And call it selfish, but if I'm doing anything for anyone else, I don't feel like I'm doing it for me. I'm not exactly a people pleaser, but I do like to host and make people happy. I won't do anything out of my way though. I am pretty selfish in that regard. I won't go out of my way for someone at this point in my life because it's burned me a lot. But when I think of self-care, I think of being alone. I think of watching YouTube, whether it be uh, Curtis Connor, Drew Gooden, Danny Gonzalez, or Chad Chad videos, because that's, that's the primary for me. That I watch them all the time. Whenever they have a new video, I'm watching it. Same with Jarvis Johnson, like that group of, of commentary YouTubers, that's my relaxing time. That or anime or learning a language. 
I find that that's part of my self-care as well. And this dips into one of the other requests or rants, so I won't go too in depth with language learning because I do want to make an entire video about that. But for me, I feel like adding language learning into my day to day not only is self care for me, but it's self care for my brain. I don't feel like my job requires a lot of mental fortitude. So in order to keep learning and keep my brain fresh, learning a language fills that need, it scratches that itch for me. And I'm very thankful that I have that passion. And watching anime is just something that I love to do. I love reading manga. I love watching anime. I'm a weeb, sue me. There's Tanjiro in my background. You can't see him here as I zoomed in my camera, but he's there. He's there, I swear. He's right here. And obviously you guys can see my manga, all my Japanese manga, and then I've got my Nanami, and you, you guys can see it. If you know me from my streams, you know I'm really into that stuff, so it's not really a big deal. That being said, for me, my self-care, outside of being alone and keeping my brain fresh, is doing things that fulfill me and allow me to learn something new. That's why I cook so many new things. I like going to the gym a lot, too. I find that to be very cathartic for me. I haven't been able to go to the gym consistently as of late since my ER visit, and that's been pretty damaging for my mental well-being because I've got pretty harsh body dysmorphia. When I look in the mirror, I certainly don't see what you guys see, and that has loomed over me for quite some time. So when I was at my fittest, I felt really good and I felt I felt sexy, you know, I felt confident in myself. And, and to me, that is a huge form of self-care. Getting up in the morning and doing something active is self-care at its nth degree for me because I'm learning something new. I'm pushing myself in a way that I wouldn't have otherwise. I'm up in the morning and I am the biggest morning person. If I could get up at five or six in the morning every single day because I actually went to bed at the right time, then I would. I would be ecstatic to do that. I feel like it's really hard for me to talk too much about self-care because I'm not very good at it. I need to be better about it for sure. Self-care looks different for everybody and I don't want anyone to think that they're not doing it just because what their versions of self-care are are different from mine. Ultimately, my only real goal is to show you what I do so that maybe if you're looking for things to do that can help you in that. I am not an emotional eater. I don't really like junk food. I don't really like sugary snacks or, you know, sugary drinks or anything like that. So my form of self-care is not posing up for a movie night with like junk food. And I know that some people do that. That just makes me feel like garbage because I am chronically ill and I have a lot of digestive problems. So I don't want anyone to think that because my habits are learning languages and going to the gym uh, means that I am somehow a healthier person and I've got better habits than you do because there is absolutely nothing wrong with having some extra butter popcorn and watching a horror movie or going out for drinks in moderation or going to the beach, which we don't have here. If I had a beach to go to, I absolutely would. But one, the coast is over an hour away from me. And two, uh, notice I called it the Oregon Coast, not the beach. The Oregon Coast, if you are from the Pacific Northwest, you know just as well as I do, it is not the beach. It is cold, it is humid, it is rainy, it is foggy, it is rocky. There is nothing beach-like about the Oregon coast outside of maybe 10, 15 days out of the year. If I'm gonna go to the coast, I'm going there for beer. Go up to Astoria, go to Fort George and Bowie, go to Cannon Beach and go to Pelican. There's some really good breweries on the coast and I guess that would be some self-care, trying some tasty beers off the coast. But I'm not going to the beach. I'm not, you know, going out to the pool or the lake. But that does bring me to another topic though of self-care that I just realized, camping. I love camping. I haven't been camping in a very very long time, but I do intend on doing that sometime either um, in the next few weeks or as it starts to cool off because I don't want to die of heat stroke, but I have got a tent all ready to go. We've got coolers. We've got plans. It's just a matter of 
waiting until it's the right time to do so because it's been very busy. And I need some time to recharge before I spend a few days in the woods because though it is self-care, it's still a lot of work and you're still entertaining people at the end of the day because that's what I do. I like to entertain people. I like to be the hostess. I know that I don't have to. I know that that drains my battery pretty severely, but I like doing it nonetheless. I got a little sidetracked, but that's kind of the gist of my self-care. Besides, you know, my skincare routine or the makeup that I purchase and the, the different projects that I do outside of that, my work tends to get in the way of a lot of my self-care, but it can also provide me with a good amount of self-care depending on what the project is, like stuff like this. I do enjoy this. I do find this to be self-care until it isn't, but for now, this is a form of self-care because I can get my thoughts out into the world and you guys can have a good time listening to what I have to say. But thank you guys so much for watching this. I know this was a shorter rant than my tattoo rant, a little more convoluted, a little less put together, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.